Hey YouTubers, Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. If you're joining us from the previous video where we walked to the jet ski, showed you where we were leaking and the upper portion of the exhaust manifold, glad to have you. In this video, we are going to run you through the step-by-step -step process on how to remove the old manifold, insert a new manifold, and get rid of that leak. Let's get started. Safety first always. Disconnect both battery cables from the power leads on your battery. Although we have really good access to the manifold, we are going to remove this plastic cover. One, two, three three, four 10 millimeter bolts, and that will give us access to this entire open space. This bottom portion will slowly shift down and that connects to the actual plastic hose back here. From here, it might be stuck on with glue. However, just a little bit of prying, pull this whole part off. Next, we need to remove this piece right here. As you can see, we have a lot better access to the entire manifold. The first few things I want to remove are the hoses that connect to the actual portions of the exhaust manifold. I'm going to remove this hose. You can see it's tie strapped on. I'll go ahead and clip that tie strap. And one here, one right there. And on the bottom side here, you have a hose, as you can see right here, that feeds into a clamp here. Grab your flathead screwdriver and go ahead and remove this hose. Plastic tie straps are removed. I went ahead and clipped them. When it comes time to reinsert and secure the hoses, I will use new tie straps. Let's go ahead and carefully remove each of these hoses. Grab it at the actual portion where it connects to the part. Slowly shift it rearward and pull it off. Set that aside. On to the next one and set that aside, the third one right here. Set that aside. And here is a quick view of the hose itself removed with the clamp and there is where the, it connects to the manifold. Grab your half inch socket and ratchet and go ahead and loosen up this nut here. We wanna loosen up this actual clamp that connects the top manifold to the lower manifold. As you loosen and remove this nut, be very careful when it gets to the tail end of that actual bolt. You do not want to drop that nut down in the hull. It'd be a hard nut to find. And from here, this bolt actually shifts back. Clamp is now shifted over the actual groove. You can see this is where the two manifolds connect itself right here in that groove there. From here, let's go ahead and start removing these four bolts. I've got the metric set here and I have grabbed the number three tool which we will use. First bolt is removed, and again, be very careful. Also take note, there is a washer on each of these bolts. Top two bolts are removed, and that third one is right down there. At this point, I wanna grab my half inch socket and ratchet and remove this half inch bolt. This is a very small bolt, so be careful as you remove it. From here, let's remove that third bolt down below. Third bolt is removed, the fourth bolt, or lower left hand bolt. We actually have to remove this this and the lower plastic case down here don't stress out it's very easy 10 millimeter bolt here and the nut on the opposite side both bolts are removed from here carefully shift each plastic part up set those aside and from here down in the very bottom you will see this little clamp here it has a cotter pin or safety pin go ahead and remove that and go ahead and pop this little tab up Pin is removed and I've also shifted that little tab up or lever up and carefully remove this entire piece from the hull. On the opposite side from here, I've got a wrench with the ratchet portion built into it, the 15 millimeter wrench. We are going to sink this actual wrench inside onto that bolt and we do not have to remove the nut, just loosen it up and I'll show you why. At this point, I have that 15 millimeter nut loosened. Again, you do not have to take it all the way off. Again, I'll show you why. The last bolt right here is a 18 millimeter bolt. Go ahead and remove that. Back on the opposite side, and again, the 18 millimeter bolt is loose from here. The whole manifold is loose, except for where the actual gasket is holding it together. Manifolds are now separated, and you can see the old rubber gasket, and you will slowly just peel this off, and go ahead and remove this entire manifold off the engine. Here are the two manifolds. The one on the right is the brand new one. The one on the left is the old and used one. And check that hole out. Water is coming out of that hole faster and under great pressure like you wouldn't believe. 
spraying all over the entire hull of the jet ski. Top manifold is removed and again I will slowly peel this rubber gasket portion off to make sure that this face is bare and clean. Also the old rubber gasket that is in between the portion here and the manifold I will slowly peel this out as well. And that is the bolt I was just removing the 15 millimeter and just by loosening up just a bit the actual part right here just slides up and off. Awesome little hook tool from AutoZone. Just slowly and carefully pull this rubber gasket out of the actual area it seats in. Right like there. Old gasket fully removed. Here's the new gasket and let's go ahead and open this. Back of the engine, make sure that the entire area that the old rubber gasket came out of is clean and clear and ready for the new one to be inserted. New gasket is inserted and it sticks out a little bit and that is good because this is a new one. It's not as worn out as the old one. And as you connect the portion of the manifold here with these bolts, it will create that watertight seal. We have the surface of the lower manifold cleaned up. Now to the lower portion manifold and this gasket fits in that little groove there. As you can see here, perfect fit. Next, we have to apply the high temperature red silicone gasket maker. We chose the JB Weld brand. In the event that you need help doing this, the video scrolling at the top right now will run you through the step-by-step -step on how to do it. Don't forget to take the rubber pickup envelope off the old manifold and insert it properly on the new manifold prior to putting this new manifold in and securing it. This covers the bolts. We also ran a bead on the surface or face of the lower manifold where the copper ring will be inserted. A few things I want to talk about. When you insert the actual manifold, do your best to not tug and move that upper manifold. The more you move this portion during the process of tightening other things, the more likely you're going to mess up that bead. So be very, very careful. Top manifold is in place and touching the actual lower manifold from here. I secured that. Hand tighten these two and now I'm going to reposition this bracket. Make sure that they go over this groove and I'm going to slowly tighten this. Do not over tighten it. Your goal is to tighten it just until this actual gap has the gasket sealant bleeding out of it. Carefully and slowly tighten this ring on. At this point I have the clamp properly tightened and it's hard to see but there is a little bit of that sealant bleeding out. Again do not over tighten that because then you'll push all that sealant out and that's not good. Making progress have the 18 millimeter bolt fully secured on the opposite side of the manifold. I've got the left upper, right upper, right lower and that 15 millimeter nut down in here. All four of those are secure and your half inch nut here make sure you secure that on the mount. Now it's time to reinsert all the rubber hoses. Hose number one, two, three are all secured and the tie straps are reinserted and secured and don't forget that bottom hose. Go ahead and insert that and tighten the flathead screw on the clamp and secure that. Reinsert this entire lower unit. Resecure the 10 millimeter bolts and washers in place. Grab the lower plastic portion of the middle mount and secure the plastic hose. Grab the top portion of the center mount and resecure it. And from here, let's reconnect and secure the cables, both negative and positive, to the terminals. Both positive and negative cables are resecured to the terminals. YouTubers, at this point, do a thorough inspection of the entire hull and all around the jet ski where you were working. Grab all those tools and make sure no tools are left behind in the hull. That would not be good. Grab the rear plastic cover, resecure that. Reposition the front seat and secure it on the actual prong here, and you'll hear a click, as well as the rear seat. That's it YouTubers, as you can see, a pretty friendly DIY or do-it-yourself project. All we have to do now is wait the 24 hours and allow that sealant to cure. Do us a favor, below the video you will see that thumbs up icon, click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Go to your settings, turn on your YouTube notification bell. Once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified, you will be able to stay up to date with us, and that will be awesome. Hey, thanks again for watching.